Assalamualaikum. Students, I hope all of you are well. Today we are going to start exercise 2.6, which is about the basic operations of the complex numbers. So what are basic operations in mathematics? That is addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Then how we will add, subtract, multiply or divide the complex numbers. So here we will start question number 2, that is write the given complex number in the standard form a plus iota b where a b belongs to the set of the real numbers so second part of this question is this one so students for our convenience let us suppose the given complex number as z so just for our convenience we will suppose the given complex number as z now students what would be our first step here as you can see, you will multiply 2 to the complex number 5 plus 4 iota. 2 will be multiplied with the real part and then with the imaginary part. Similarly, here 3 would be multiplied with the real part and 3 with the imaginary part of the number, complex number given next to it. So 2 into 5 will give you 10. Plus 2 into 4 iota will give you 8 iota. Now what about this minus sign? This minus sign will change the sign inside the brackets. Why it would change the sign? Because there is no sign given with the 7, it means sign with 7 is plus. So when minus would be multiplied with plus, it will give you minus. So minus 3 multiplied by 7. Now again minus into plus will give you minus and 3 into 4 iota. I hope this point is clear to you. Now let us simplify it. 5 into 2, 10. Plus 4 into 2, 8 iota. Minus 7 into 3, 21. Minus 4 into 3, 12. Now student, what would be our next step? Here, we will rewrite the above equation with the real part with the real part and imaginary with the imaginary part. So here, we will write it down. 10 minus 21. Fine. The sign which is just before that number would be written with that number. Don't forget this. So now plus 8 iota. Fine. Plus 8 iota with what? Minus 12 iota. Minus 12 iota. So don't forget to write down the sign which is just before that number. So plus 8 iota minus 12 iota. Now we will rewrite the given equation. We will rewrite the given equation, real part with the real part and imaginary part with the imaginary part. That is 10 minus 21. Don't forget to write down the sign which is just before that number. So 10 minus 21 and then plus 8 iota and minus 12 iota. Fine. Now we will add up the real part with the real and imaginary with the imaginary. It will give you what? Minus 11. And what about this? It will give you minus 4 iota. Isn't it? Fine. It is just the way how you add the real numbers. Because just iota is imaginary part. Otherwise you have to solve plus 8 and minus 12. Just on the similar pattern as you solve the real numbers. So this is your answer. Here real part of the given number z is minus 11 and imaginary part of the given number z is minus 4. So this is your answer. So student this is the way how to add or subtract the complex numbers. Now we will see how to multiply the complex numbers. So question number 3 is about multiplication of the complex numbers. Question number 3 is all about the multiplication of the complex numbers. Let us take any one of the part from question number 3. Question number 3. So here I am going to take part number 4. For just our convenience, we will suppose the given number as z. So let us take the given number as z. z is equal to 2 minus 3 iota. Break it. And then you have 3 minus 2 iota bar. Now, student, what would be our first step? 
what would be our first step to solve this question? First of all, as you can see here, bar is given on the second complex numbers. So, first of all, we will take the conjugate of it. So, the conjugate of 3 minus 2 iota would be what? Conjugate will just change the sign of the imaginary part. So, we have 3 plus 2 iota. 3 plus 2 iota. Now, how would we multiply these two complex numbers? Just as a linear multiplication of the real numbers, we will multiply it. So, we will write down 2. And 2 would be multiplied with this complex number on the whole. That is 3 plus 2 iota. Then this sign minus 3 iota. And then we will multiply minus 3 iota with this complex number. That is 3 plus 2 iota. Now it is just a simple linear multiplication. 2 would be multiplied with 3. And 2 would be multiplied with 2 iota. Similarly this 3 iota would be multiplied with these two numbers. Now students, 2 into 3 plus 2 into 2 iota. What about this negative sign? When this negative sign would be multiplied with this plus sign, it will give you minus. So plus 3 iota into 3 iota. 3 iota into 3. And this minus into plus will give you minus. So 3 iota into 2 iota. Don't forget to write down the complete number. That is 3 iota multiplied by 2 iota. Now let us simplify it. 3 into 2, 6. Plus 2 into 2, 4 iota. Minus 3 into 3, 9 iota. And what about this number? 3 into 2, 6. And iota into iota will give you iota square. So don't forget to write down the complete number. Now student, if you remember, iota square is equal to what? Minus 1. So don't forget to write down or mention this. So here we have 6 plus 4 iota minus 9 iota and this would become what? Minus 6 into minus 1. Now let us simplify it. 6. What about this? Can we solve it over here? Plus 4 iota and minus 9 iota will give you what? Minus 5 iota. And minus into minus would be plus 6. Now what you have to do, you write down the real part with the real and imaginary with the imaginary. So it would be 6 plus 6, 6 plus 6 and minus 5 iota. 6 plus 6 is 12 and this is minus 5 iota. So student, here the real part of the given complex number is what? You can conclude that real part of the given complex number is 12. And imaginary part of the given complex number is? minus 5. I hope the multiplication of the complex number is clear to you. Now you can solve the remaining part of this question by yourself for your practice. Ok students, now question number 4 is about the division of the complex numbers. So students, don't let us see how to divide two complex numbers. Here for our convenience we have suppose a given number as z. So the first step of this question is You will multiply and divide the given fraction with the conjugate of the denominator. What is the conjugate of denominator over here? 3 plus iota. Conjugate of 3 plus iota would be 3 minus iota. So we will multiply and divide the given fraction with the numerator, sorry, with the conjugate of the denominator. Now students, how would we solve it? Numerator would be multiplied with numerator and denominator would be multiplied with denominator. Isn't it? Yes, it is. Now, it is just a linear multiplication the numerator and same the linear multiplication the denominator. Now, if we multiply the numerators, 9 would be multiplied with what? 3 minus iota. And then minus 7 iota would be multiplied with 3 minus iota. Is this the way to multiply two, two, uh, two numbers? The linear multiplication of two numbers. Now what about the denominator? Denominator, as you can see, it is in the form of a plus b into a minus b. 
So we can directly use an algebraic formula that is a plus b into a minus b is equals to a square minus b square. So we can write it like this, 3 square minus iota square. Fine. So which formula we have used here? You will mention it parallel to the step in which you have used. So you have used a plus b into a minus b is equals to a square minus b square. So this algebraic formula we have used in this step. Now let us simplify it. 9 into 3 minus iota. Now this 9 would be multiplied with 3 and then 9 would be multiplied with iota. Similarly 7 with 3, 7 iota with 3 and 7 iota with iota. So let us multiply it. 9 into 3 minus 9 into iota. Then minus into plus will give you minus. Minus 7 iota multiplied by 3 and then minus 7 iota multiplied by minus iota. So don't forget to write down the sign which is just beside that number. Minus 7 iota into minus iota. Divided by denominator is 3 square is 9. Minus iota square. Now let us simplify it. In the numerator we can write 9 into 3, 27. Minus 9 into iota, 9 iota. Minus 7 into 3, 20, 1 iota. Minus into minus will give you what? Plus. So 7 iota into iota will give you 7 iota square. Now student, what would be our next step? We will replace iota square with what? Iota square with minus 1. So you will mention it over here that iota square is equals to minus 1. So now let us simplify it. Z is equals to 27 minus 9 iota minus 21 iota plus 7 into minus 1. Now what about the denominator? 9 minus minus 1. Now let us simplify it further. You will write down the real part with the real and imaginary with the imaginary. So 27 plus 7 into minus 1 give you, give you minus 7. So 27 minus 7. Now what about this? Minus 9 iota minus 21 iota. Divided by denominator is 9 minus into minus will give you plus. So 9 plus 1 will give you 10. So z is equals to 27 minus 7 will give you what? 20. The real part will be solved with the real part. And imaginary with the imaginary. So minus 9 iota and minus 21 iota will give you what? Minus 30 iota. Divided by 9 plus 1 is 10. So let us solve it over here. This is sign. This sign is for the employees there. Right? Then we will solve a whole step. Just beside it, we will write down this sign. So z is equals to, okay students. Now here, can I write any number? This is just a rough word to explain you. Can I write a number like a plus b over c as a over c plus b over c? a over c plus b over c. Okay students, now can I write a plus b over c as a over c plus b over c? Can we write it like this? As the bases are same, if I solve it, it will again become what? a plus b over c. Isn't it? So here, we can write that complex number z like this. 20 over 10 minus 30 iota over 10. Now just, we will simplify it. 10 into 2, 20. And minus 10 into 3, 30. So, this is the complex number. Sorry, the real part of the complex, given complex number is now what? 2. And the imaginary part of the given complex number is now what? Minus 3. Fine. There is no need to write down the iota again over here. As we have already mentioned, it is the imaginary part. So, student, here we have done the division of the complex numbers. Now, you will solve question number 4 all remaining parts by yourself for your practice. So let us solve question number 6 now.
Okay, so just now you solve question number six. Question number six is a very simple question. A complex number z is given, 2 plus 3 iota, and we have to show that 1 over 2 into z plus z bar. What is z bar? Conjugate of z is a real part of z. So let us first write down what is the real part of z. The real part of z is 2. And what is the imaginary part of z? Imaginary part of complex number given is 3. Now what we have to do? We have to find out this 1 by 2 into z plus z bar. So for this, as z is already given, now what about the z bar? z bar means you have to find out the conjugate of the complex number 2 plus 3 iota. So the conjugate of this complex number would be what? As you have studied earlier, conjugate will just change the sign of the imaginary bar. So z bar is equal to 2 minus 3 iota. Fine. Now what we will do? We will find out this. 1 by 2 into z plus z bar. So now what we have to do? Just we have to put the given values. That is 1 by 2. What was the value of z? 2 plus 3 iota. 2 plus 3 iota. And what is the value of z bar? That is 2 minus 3 iota. So now students, can we cancel plus 3 iota with minus 3 iota? Yes, of course. Now we will have 1 by 2 into z plus z bar is equal to what? 1 by 2 into 2 plus 2. 1 by 2 into 2 plus 2. So we just have to solve it. 1 by 2, 2 plus 2 is 4. Now we can solve it further like this. 2, 1, 2 and 2 into 2, 4. That is 2. So what was given in the question? We have to show that 1 by 2 into z plus z bar is a real part of z. So is it the real part of z? Yes, it is. So the real part of z. Hence, we have proved the given. We have proved what was given in the question. Fine? Hence, proved. So students, now you will solve the remaining parts of question number 6 by yourself for your practice. Fine? Okay students, so now last question. Question number 7 of exercise 2.6 is solve the following equation for real x and y. We have to find out the value of x and y. And it is about the equating two uh, complex numbers or the complex num given, uh, numbers given on both sides. Now students, what would we do? We will solve the left hand side separately and the right hand side and we will convert both sides in the form a plus iota b and then we will equate the real part with the real and imaginary with the imaginary. So what would be our first step over here? This sign is for the employees that because above given statement is an equation, right? So whenever we uh, solve an equation, we will put a sign of implies that over here. Now how we will solve the left hand side? Two complex numbers, product of two complex numbers. First three would be multiplied with the complex number x plus y iota and then minus 2 iota would be multiplied with this whole complex number. That is 3 into x plus y iota minus 2 iota into x plus y iota. Fine. Now what about the right hand side? Here, we will multiply 2 with x and similarly 2 with 2 by iota and this would remain as it is because one of them is the real and the other one is the imaginary part. So here students, we will have 2x minus 2 into 2 will give you 4 iota, 4 by iota and what about this, plus 2 iota minus 1. So students, here we will multiply 3 with x and 3 with y iota. Similarly, plus minus 2 iota with x and then minus 2 iota with y iota. So here we have 3x. What about this? 3 into y plus sign would remain as it is and 3 into y, 3 by iota. What about this number? This minus sign would affect 
a by because this minus with when multiplied with this plus uh, there is no sign in mean there is a plus sign so when we will multiply we have negative sign so 2 iota into x will give you 2 x iota isn't it now what about the next minus into plus will give you minus and 2 iota into y iota it is 2 iota and y iota 2 into y and what about iota into iota iota into iota will give you iota square now what about the right hand side so here students we will rewrite this side as a real part with the real and imaginary part with the imaginary part that is 2x minus 1 and then minus 4 iota with plus 2 iota fine now we will solve this side first of all we will put down the value of iota square what is the value of iota square that is minus 1 then we will rewrite the above equation first of all 3x plus 3 by iota 2x by iota as it is what about this minus 2y into minus 1 fine we have we will put the value of iota square now here we will read the we have already rewritten this real part with the real that is 2x minus 1 and what about the imaginary part here we will take iota is common if i take iota is common and i write down plus sign over here so it would be 2 and then minus 4y isn't it 2 minus 4y and we will take iota as common so i hope this point is clear to you now let us solve the left hand side so what about the left hand side we will write down the real part with the real and imaginary with the imaginary so 3x is a real part and which else is the real part this one minus into minus will give you plus plus 2y so this is the real part now what is the imaginary part 3y minus 2x we will take iota as common fine now this is the real part this is the imaginary part of the left hand side and on the right hand side 2x minus 1 is the real part and 2 minus 4y is the imaginary part now students question is very simple you will equate the real part with the real and imaginary part with the imaginary right what would we have real part on the left hand side is real part on the left hand side is 3x plus 2y and on the right hand side real part is 2x minus 1 and what about the imaginary part yes students imaginary part on the left hand side is 3y minus 2x and imaginary part on the right hand side is 2 minus 4y now we have two equations let us mark this equation as equation 1 and 2 and solve them one by one for the value of x and y or sorry solve them simultaneously to have the values of x and y okay students so now equation number equation number one implies that what let us solve it 3x we will shift 2x on this side and what about the right hand side minus 1 minus 2y let us solve it we will have x is equals to minus 1 minus 2y now what about equation number 2 let us solve it equation number 2 equation number 2 will give you 3y if i shift minus 4y to the left hand side it would become plus 4y and let us shift minus 2x on the right hand side it would become plus 2y so we will have 7y is equals to 2 plus 2x so there are a lot of ways to solve it but we are we will substitute the value of x from equation number 3 to equation number 4 putting value of x from equation number 3 to equation number 4 so equation number 4 will give you what 7y is equals to 2 plus 
2 into minus 1 minus 2y. Now if we solve it, we will have 2 minus 2 and then minus 4y. This will be cancelled with it. We will have 7y is equals to minus 4y. Now so now how would we solve it? We will shift it to the right side. 7y plus 4y is equal to 0 which will give you 11y is equal to 0. Now Now student, what would be the value of y? Value of y is 0. If we shift 11 to the right hand side, it would be divided by 0. So value of y is 0. If we put the value of y in any of these equations, we will have the value of x. So let us put this value in equation number 3. So equation number 3 is equal to x minus, x is equal to minus 1, minus 2y, x is equal to minus 1, minus 2 into 0 it will give you what? minus 1 so student so x is equal to minus 1 minus 0 will give you minus 1 so these are the values of required values of x and y x is equal to minus 1 and y is equal to 0 both belongs to the set of real numbers so this is our answers so students, here exercise 2.6 is completely done and uh, chapter number 2 is uh, completely done over here. Now what you have to do, you will do the practice of the questions uh, which your teachers will assign you. Okay students, now stay safe, stay blessed, good luck and Allah Hafiz.